What's going on guys? Welcome to Pokemon Podium. It's an absolute pleasure to have you all here today for another giveaway and the Mew V Tin opening. Have a look at that. I might throw in some Battle Stars too if we have time and I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that keeps coming back to watch. It really does mean a lot to me and I appreciate the support so much. So as always, if you like what you see today, please help me out and smash that like button and subscribe to enjoy more awesome content and get those notification alerts turned on if you want to get hold of the online code cards and if you don't want to miss a single future giveaway. More chances for you guys to get your hands on free Pokemon cards. You've got to get here really fast if you want those online code cards as I can't believe how quickly the codes have been going so far. You lot are seriously fast. Feel free to skip ahead a minute or so if you already know how this all works, but for those of you new to the channel, what is Pokemon Podium then? Each video will include a set of card giveaways for one lucky viewer, courtesy of the Podium Poll. I'll give you details on how to enter the Podium Poll at the end of the video. Let me explain how it works. On the channel, we'll enjoy some Pokemon card pack openings together and then my three favourite pulls from each video will make their way onto the lovely and coveted Pokemon podium we have set up here. And the best part, well, anything that does not make its way onto the podium will be sent to one of you from the viewer card basket we have set up on the right hand side over here. So that means each winner is guaranteed some rare cards. Get in the basket. I appreciate that the channel will not grow overnight, so if you guys could help me out, it would be very much appreciated. And I'm sure we can do some extra giveaways along the way to keep it fun. If you want to see my roadmap for the channel, please take a look at either of my first two videos or see the description below the video. So you'll have had enough of me banging on by now, so let's crack on with the podium poll and the pack openings. The cards making up the podium poll were, in first place, we had the Cramorant Shiny Rare. A lot of people picked this card in the comments. It was definitely the most popular choice. I think we have a lot of Cramorant fans out there, and why not? It's an awesome card, so let's see if it's the one that wins this week. Next up, we had the Octillery Rapid Strike Holographic Rare, and last but not least, in third place, we had the Gossy Fleur Shiny Rare. What a beautiful card that is. Right, I'll shuffle these up then. And this video's winner is... The Octillery Holographic. So, by no means the most popular choice, but the Octillery Holographic wins it this week, beating out the Cramorant. And well done if you guessed the correct card. And huge congratulations to the winner who is shown on screen now. The cards will be making their way to you as soon as we hit the milestones set out in the video description. I really hope you enjoy them and they make a good addition to your collection. There were some really great cards in the basket in the last video. On with the pack openings then. As I said, today we have the Mew V tin, which should include an assortment of packs. Let's get it opened up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so in addition to the Mew V card, and everyone loves Mew, I've got a lot of time for that. What have we got? So we've got a Vivid Voltage pack. Another Vivid Voltage pack, so it looks like we can go hunting for that Pikachu VMAX. A Sword and Shield base set. And a Breakpoint booster to finish. And I'll throw in a Battle Styles booster pack to make up the five. Let's get the podium cleared for this week so we can get on with the openings. And to make it even more interesting, the Mew V is going straight onto the podium, which ultimately means there will be more rare cards in the basket for one of you guys. Unbelievable scenes. So let's get that first booster pack fired up. Okay, so what have we got? Online code card for one of you guys. Four card trick to the back. Let's go, lightning energy, a Cedra. Weeping Bell, Experience Share, Galarian Slowpoke, Yumper, Murkrow, Salandit, Bellsprout, the Reverse Hollow as a Luxio Rapid Strike, and the rare is a Hollow Tapabulu. That is quite a nice card. So, what's going to make it onto the podium then? I think the Tapabulu will be making its way on, but then is the 
going to be another good card yes i do like the artwork on the weeping belt so this lot into the basket but what places are these going to take i think that's going in at number one which is going to shift the mew down to number two and then the weeping bell with the cool artwork is going to go in at number three so we have our first podium cards for this week excellent remember that the podium is based on my own opinion with regards to which cards i prefer i've said it before and i'll say it again beauty is in the eye of the beholder the world is full of unique opinions and that is just fantastic next up we've got pack number two that is the breakpoint booster pack what does it have in store for us here we go, online code card for one of you guys. If anyone's interested in the breakpoint set, and I believe it is only a three card trick to the back for this particular set. Here we go, Nuzleaf, Mawal, Sudawudu, Shelda, Drowsy, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Psyduck, the reverse hollow as a Mawal, and the rare is a Pangoro. So, not that exciting, but I do quite like the artwork. And do you know what? I'm going to put that in at number three on the podium. But you guessed it for the rest of this lot, and I'm sorry to the weeping bell, but into the basket. Third pack, then let's go. The sword and shield base set. Okay, third pack, will we get lucky? Online code card for one of you guys. Back to the four card trick. Let's go, Water Energy, Fwacky, Pokegear 3.0, Aurora Energy, that's quite a useful card if you play the game. Ghastly, Rookie D, Sizzly Bead, a Snom, Mawal again. Sizzly Peed as the reverse holographic, but the other variant and the rare is a uh, Sanaconda non holographic. Not exciting at all. So, quite a disappointing pack there, and that means that I'm not even going to think about this. Get in the basket. Fourth pack is Vivid Voltage going to give us some better luck. Here's hoping for the Chunky Pikachu. Online code card. Or one of you. Four card trick to the back. Oh, let's do this. Fighting energy. Galvantula. Swallow. A wash energy. Eevee. C dot. An electric. Clefairy. A Thampy. The reverse hollow is a tootle. And the rare is a Vaporia non holographic. I am a big fan of the evolutions, so I think we're going to have a new podium placer with the Vaporeon. This lot into the basket, but where is this going to go? I think I'm going to put it in at number two, which shifts the Mew V closer to the basket and the Pangoro. See you later. Final pack then, can we get an epic pull? It is now or never. Final pack, let's find out. Online code card from one of you. Four card trick to the back and come on, let's do this. Aligning energy, Nessa. She is a really cool gym leader. Did really like her in the game. A Nuzleaf wash energy. Dynamo executes Chatot Clobobus Skiddo The reverse hollow as an Oshawa and the final rare is a Galarian Darmanitan V So not too bad for the last pack I think that this lot are going to go straight into the basket, but I believe we'll have a new podium placer with the Dark Manitan, and that's going to go in at number two. So the Vaporeon shifts the Mew for the final opening. The Mew has made its way into the basket for one of you. And um, what did you think of that opening, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
The final podium positions are confirmed and the cards I will be keeping are in third place we have the Vaporeon non-holographic. In second place it's the Galarian Dark Manitan B and this week's winner is the lovely Tapu Bulu. Some awesome cards will be making their way to one lucky winner as well, including the Mew B. So to be in with a chance of winning the podium poll, all you guys have to do is one, subscribe to my channel, two, hit that lovely like button, and three, comment below with your choice of one of the Pokemon cards making up the final podium here and the country in which you are based. For example, I might choose the Vaporeon and my comment would be Vaporeon UK. That's it, it is honestly that easy. I will pick a card and win it from the podium poll at the start of the next video. Happy days. And just to clarify, it is only one entry per person. If you guess more than one card, I will treat that as all your entries are void. We're all about fair play here, guys. Remember, as soon as I hit the milestones in the video description, I will start posting these out. And if I don't get any correct entries this week, I will roll the giveaway cards into each subsequent video until we get a winner and as a reminder you also need to be subscribed to win guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed that sound off in the comments below absolute pleasure to have you here and get those notification alerts turned on to join me on the next one i also currently have some epic twitter giveaways running so please do follow the links in the description below to check those out as always, I hope to be getting content out as often as possible in between my job and regular life duties. Catch you next time. Pokemon Podium out.